Hello, so today we're taking a look at the B650E or a Stealth Ice, which is a back connector motherboard, and the UK is going to set you back just under £250. Now, although this is a slightly older chipset, if you want to do a back connector build with an Aorus motherboard, this is currently your only choice. And I've been absolutely dying to do a build with this motherboard for quite some time. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. So I think you'll agree this motherboard is absolutely gorgeous. There's not a single connector on the front of the motherboard, and in fact, you can't even see a screw hole. And that's because all our connectors are on the back of the motherboard. You can see they go around the same three sides of the motherboard as what you would get on a Zeus or MSI motherboard. So it's gonna be compatible with the same cases. And you can see the really nice back plate we've got on the back of the motherboard. Taking a closer look at the motherboard and working along the bottom from right to left, first of all, we've got our HD audio connector. We've then got a three pin five volt ARGB connector followed by a system fan header. We've then got a trusted platform module header followed by two USB 2.0 headers followed by another system fan header. Next to this, we've got a reset button and at the bottom left of the motherboard, we've got our system panel header. This includes our front panel connectors, a chassis intrusion, power LED and speaker headers. Just above this header, we've got reset and clear CMOS jumpers. And next to our system panel header, we've got an LED demo header. Working up the left-hand side of the motherboard, first of all, we've got a USB 3.2 Gen 1 header supporting speeds of five gigabits per second. We've then got four SATA ports, followed by our front panel type C header, which will support speeds of up to 20 gigabits per second. We've then got our motherboard second three pin five volt ARGB header with a four pin 12 volt non-addressable header next to it. Just above these, we've got a HDMI 1.4 port, which you'll find useful if you want to install a sensor panel in your build. We've then got another system fan stroke pump header, and just above that, we've got our 24 pin motherboard power connector. Working along the top of the motherboard, we've got our fourth and final system fan header, followed by our CPU fan and CPU opt headers. Finally, at the top right of the motherboard, we've got a single eight pin EPS power connector. The motherboard features a 12 plus 2 plus 2 twin digital VRM design and we've got really beefy heat sinks over the VRM connected up with a 6mm heat pipe. In the middle of the motherboard we've got our AM5 socket and standard mounting brackets and the motherboard is compatible with Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 processors. We've got four RAM slots and the motherboard will accommodate up to a maximum of 192GB of DDR5 at up to 8000 mega transfers per second overclocked. The motherboard features a single Gen 5 by 16 PCIe slot and it will run in by 16 mode with the PCIe lanes coming from the CPU. It's good to see this slot is reinforced and there's an easy latch plus button just to the right hand side of the RAM that you're going to be able to press to open the clip on the slot. So one of the reasons the motherboard looks really clean at the front is you can't actually see any of the screw holes. So the screw holes are being hit by two magnetically attached panels on the top of the motherboard as well as the large lower heatsink. To remove the lower heatsink, there's a little clip on the right hand side we just need to push down and then we're going to be able to lift the heatsink up and away. If we take a look at the back of the heatsink, you'll notice there's magnets on it and then we've also got magnets on the motherboard and this is designed to help line the heatsink up with the motherboard when reinserting it. And the large beefy heatsink over our top M.2 slot is removed in exactly the same way. So you'll see our motherboard has three M.2 slots. The top one is a Gen 5x4 slot with the PCI lanes coming from the CPU while the bottom two slots are Gen 4x4 slots. The PCIe lanes for the middle slot comes from the CPU, while the PCIe lanes for the bottom slot come from the chipset. No matter which slots you decide to install your M.2 SSD in, the process is gonna be completely toolless. Taking a look at our rear I.O., first of all, we've got a Q Flash Plus button, which you're gonna use if you want to flash your BIOS. We've then got the antenna points for our Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. We've then got four USB 2.0 type A ports, followed by a HDMI 2.1 port. Beneath this, we've got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port with support speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, as well as display port. We've then got another seven USB Type-A ports. The five blue ones are five gigabit per second ports, whereas the two red ones are 10 gigabit per second ports. We've then got a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, followed by our audio connectors. The motherboard does support 7.1 channels surround sound, and the audio codec is the ALC897. In the box with the motherboard, we get the antenna for our Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. We get two SATA data cables, and we also get a G connector, and you'll find this useful to help install your front panel connectors. There is also a quick start guide and a user manual, but whoever had the motherboard before me decided to keep these. 
So I do think this is definitely one of the best looking motherboards that I've taken a look at on the channel. Just a little bit of a pity, it's a B650E motherboard and hopefully Aorus do something similar with one of the current or upcoming chipsets. I am going to be getting this into a build on the channel fairly shortly. I will tell you this wasn't the only thing that Aorus sent out. It probably gives you a bit of a clue about what case I'm going to be building in. If you have found this video useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.